Hammer? Where? Horror. Oh. A name that strikes fear into the hearts of all its followers, and one of the best-loved institutions in British cinema. So, what better way to continue Salt in the Wound's journey through horror history than by looking at one of the best American rip-offs, the 1961 adaptation of The Pit and the Pendulum? Wait, so, after all that, you're not actually going to be reviewing a hammer? No. But I will. If you fancy sinking your teeth into a work of classic gothic fiction, there's no better place to turn than to the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my I Spy Guide to 1970s British Horror, um, here I've got the American counterpart, so shall we have a look and see what Pit and the Pendulum ticks off in this edition? Torture, Lunacy, Conspiracy. Yeah. Pathetic Fallacy. Yeah. Live burials and sadomasochism. Think so. And a giant suspended blade pendulum designed to dismember enemies of the Spanish Inquisition. Indeed. Not doing too badly. Vincent Price leads a somewhat recognisable cast as Nicholas Medina, the hapless Don and recent widower. It's only when bro to the deceased, Francis Barnard turns up. You will announce that Mr. Francis Barnard has come from England to see him. <laughs> oh, really? and begins to dig around for the truth that the real horror is revealed. One may criticise the rest of the cast for wooden acting, but I think I might have discovered the real reason for this. Vincent Price is a drama sponge. He acts so extremely. You it! That if any other cast member were to attempt to up their performance by even a minute amount, the film would explode. Along with your mind. The gore fiends among you might be disappointed by the overall lack of fake blood, but let me assure you there are pockets dotted throughout of true morbid horror. For the most part, tension is replaced by atmosphere. I thought that tension was atmosphere. Ha <laughs> ha ha! No. So, I'm going to give it a minus four. You want cutaways to creepy castles inappropriately edited throughout the film? This will float your boat. You want torture, murder, intrigue? Giggles? Then at the very least, rent it. It's camp, fun, surprisingly creepy at times, and at the very least, it will teach you the real reason why it's better not to adulterate if you're married to a psycho. Feel free to comment, please send me your requests, and thank you for watching. Thank you.